Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today, my parents and I are going up to Maine to go camping in our new camper, but also to hike um, two of the last mountains I have remaining in the New England 100 highest. So I have um, three left total, but we're hiking two of them tomorrow. Um, so I'm very excited, and also this counts as my little um, documentary um, for YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to submit it because I'm like a minor and I need a form and whatever, but it might just be my own little time capsule, so I thought it'd be fun to vlog for me to see in the future and whatever. So I was just getting a last minute snack of chips and hummus, and then it's like a five hour drive I think, so that's going to be pretty long, but we're stopping in Freeport where we might go to the L.L. Bean store, the flagship, so that's always fun to see the giant store. Um, and I think we're gonna get something at the outlets there. I'm not sure, but yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the car. We got away with love, but don't know. To do is complicated by these things I can't undo. So, can we talk this out? It's such a violent sound. Hello, so it's um, almost 9 p.m. and we are in our spot in Maine in the camper. Here, you can't really see it. But um, I do have a video that kind of shows my camper a little bit more. A new camper that we just got like a little less than a month ago, I think. Um, so it's called We Bought What. And if you guys want, I will do a camper tour. Just let me know. So we drove and we went to Freeport, which is where I said um, the L.L. Bean um, flagship is and everything. Um, then we went to see Bowdoin College because that's a big college and they're running for me. I think it's really pretty and nice and we know people who go there. So, And it's not too far from home. Um, then we went to see Bates and I didn't really like Bates that much. Um, and then we continued on, got ice cream, and I got this giant ice cream. It was just small on the gluten-free cone, but these scoops were, it was like legit this tall. Not even joking. It was enormous, but it was a really interesting flavor. It was mint chocolate chip with, so it was like mint chocolate chip moose tracks. Like, I think it was called mint moose tracks. It was really interesting, but for people who like mint and peanut butter, it was kind of good. So... I don't know, it was perfectly what I was in the mood for. It was really interesting, but it was a lot. Um, then we had a few more hours here, and we're staying at one of my favorite campgrounds. We've only stayed here once, but it was just so much fun. Um, we're on the lake, too, which you probably saw. I took a few film photos. Um, we biked around um, the campground, and then we ate hamburgers and just sat outside under the awning listening to music. But now it's dark out, um, my parents went to go to the bathhouses and look for the comet, I think. Um, but I've just been listening to some music in the stereo inside because it's so much fun to have surround sound. Um, and then I'm going to go to bed soon, so I think I'll just read and go to bed. So I will probably see you guys tomorrow morning. Today, my family is hiking two mountains up in Maine. We're hiking Kennebago Divide and Whitecap, which are our 
98th and 99th mountains in the New England 100 highest. So I'm super excited. We have a little bit of a bike ride on a road before we get up to the trail. So let's go on the bike ride. We made it to the top of the first mountain, which is number 98, so North Kennebago. And we're gonna sign the log here and then move on to the next one. Um, getting up it wasn't too bad. It was kind of scrapey towards the end, but we did find a decent herd path. So that was nice, but it's pretty hot out. So I'm gonna eat my sandwich and then we're gonna get on to the next mountain. We made it to number 99. Here's the sign, white cap. And we were just looking over to try to find the Canadian border, which we can kind of see the clear cut, um, which we hiked along a few years ago to hike Boundary Peak. So I was just eating cookies, and then I think we're gonna take a few pictures and go down soon. It's the next day, and we're back at our camper, all ready to leave. We got packed up this morning after my dad went mountain biking, um, and yeah, so we're gonna head back. It's five hours in the car so that will not be super fun but I'm planning on doing some writing I think and possibly watching some movies I downloaded like three movies or something so I think I'll be pretty entertained but yeah I guess let's just go get on the road so we just got home yesterday um afternoon we left pretty early in the morning it wasn't the best weather out my dad had gone mountain biking in the morning up on a ski mountain and my mom and I stayed and packed up um, and it was about a five hour drive. It was like seven plus hours on the way up because we uh, made so many stops, but it was nice that it was only five hours. Um, so we left in mid morning and got back around like two ish. So there was still like a lot of the day um, to, you know, see my chickens. It was super hot out by the way. Um, and then basically just unpack everything here. So I had a really fun weekend. I really enjoyed um, visiting colleges and just seeing Maine because I haven't been to Maine in a while. So that was really nice and I'm also really excited that I finished my 98th and 99th 100 highest mountains. So definitely make sure to keep an eye out for my 100 highest video. Um, it'll be mid-August I think because we are planning to finish on my dad's birthday. So. I can't wait for that. It should be a whole compilation of like all of my hiking memories from like the past 12 years that I've been hiking. So yeah, definitely that is something to keep an eye out for. Make sure to check out my Etsy shop to buy a custom um, necklace. Check out my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!